Hey guys, so welcome back to Hit The Stage Performance Reviews Episode 2. Um, sorry about the lighting, I, I'm still trying to sort my life out. <laughs> I don't even know what looks good. As you can see, I have my elastics and so I look quite horrible, but bear with me. Let's get started. I'm going to start off with Hyoyeon. She did Cell Block Tango. Um, a little off topic. But we are actually doing Cell Block Tango in our end of year show for my dance, um, what's it called? Dance school. <laughs> um, so I just, I was just like, I resonated with that. I was like, yo, you go girl, you do Cell Block Tango. Anyway, so what I have to say about hers. Um, first off, I loved her interactions with her team and her crew. Um, I like the fact that she danced with various people, I like how the crew danced with each other, etc, etc. It really just made the kind of like, it set the Chicago kind of mood and theme. I think it came from Chicago, correct me if I'm wrong. Really, I loved how she took on the classical side, it was such a bold move of hers because she could have easily done hip hop. I feel like hip hop is much more favoured among the Korean audience in this, in this context. So I believe she did such a bold move doing the classical side. And I know that she does have ballroom experience because she was on a dance show or something or other. But it's good that she set herself apart and did that. Thirdly, even though it looks simple, a lot of people have been saying, oh, this is such simple choreography. I don't think you guys realize that there is a lot of technique in ballroom dancing and in like classical dancing. The execution is so much more harsh and I feel like not harsh but I feel like more strict um, uh, in contrast to hip hop. I feel like hip hop, I mean yeah obviously there is technique involved but at the same time you're not as harshly criticised than if you were to do ballroom in my point of view. 50 seconds in also, her expression was very seductive, kind of very luring, alluring, alluring, yeah, um, so that suited the concept as well. The floor section was really, really nice, um, nice is one way to put it, <laughs> it's really, uh, um, strong and empowering, um, and on that note, my favourite part, uh, would have had to be at 1 minute 7 to 1 minute 9-ish where she was pushing the guy to show kind of like she was in control and kind of really embodied the kind of the devil femme fatale kind of thing in that moment. Um, I thought it was effective. The highlight of the performance would have to be 1 minute 15 to 1 minute 19-ish where she did the split leg, um, split leg into, into splits. Um, it was very brief. But it was really strong and like she had her body arched as well and in terms of technique and execution that was done so well it's not very easy to do arched and splits at the same time critique for her would have to be it would have been cool if she lip synced with the music because um that soundtrack is very fierce um and very like dominating and yeah, dominating? Is that the right word? I don't even know. But yeah, it would have been cool if she was like exercising her face, <laughs> exercising her face and her like mouth and like really, you know, take on that character of who's singing. That would have been really cool and would have added to the theatrical side of the performance. In terms of dance, I feel like there could have been a range of speed. I don't know if you understand what I'm getting at here, but um, a lot of the movement on the choreography was on count, so it's like ta 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 ta, or like you know, da 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 da, or da 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 da, da rather than like it would have been cool. She kind of like did off counts or like a range of speed, you know, like I don't know. Next up, the Shonu. Okay, so right off the bat at 18 seconds in, or even before then when the hands were popping up, but specifically 18 seconds in, that dude, honestly, he's like the second main character, right, in this dance. He is so good. Like, I have to, like, acknowledge him because I just loved, like, like, how he punched at every movement. I really like him. Donu slipped, but he showed professionalism and he immediately pushed himself up. That needed to be credited for, credited for, yeah, and acknowledged as well. Uh, I thought that was really 
good of him considering I feel like he's very like he's less in confidence as the others um what he did there instead of like stalling it was very professional um yeah, and I admire him for doing that. The crumping is what he I feel like he he's best at. That's his talent. Even at like the Ultra Dance Festival, um the what was it, six pack with like Dino and like Rocky and Tan, etc. The way he does his movements is quite different from other dancers. He's not as light on his feet, um and he's more like He's less agile, I could say. Maybe less agile and more like heavy and crumping. I feel like that's what a lot of people kind of, um, uh, what's it called, look down on him for because he's not like other dancers, if you know what I mean. But in that retrospect, um, I, I don't feel other dancers can pull off those like kind of ape movement as well as he could. So you kind of have to look at it both ways. My favourite part was at eight, 118 to 120. Um, he had his arms around his team members. They did like a brief movement that I thought was so cool. I was like, whoa. Like, it's kind of simplistic, but really, really visually effective. So the highlight would have to be at 126. To be honest, I choose this as the highlight is because it's the only part where he really showed like fear because isn't the I think the concept was nightmare and I think the dude the second main character was meant to be the nightmare but at the end of the performance it proved he was the nightmare I think I don't know I, I, I don't even know what the performance really was about but um it looked like he was like running away from that nightmare right so I thought and the storytelling kind of aspect of the performance he did well in that brief moment. <laughs> um, so that's why I say that's the highlight. Um, critique, yeah, it goes to facial expression. He was very, like, stoic. Stoic? Is that even how you say it? Stoic? Oh, uh, but he was just very, like, um, focused. And I know that it's because of nervousness, I feel like. I think he can improve from that, though. Another piece of constructive criticism could be that uh, his execution could have been tidier. Um, I mean this in terms of, like, um, his physique could have maybe slowed him down and I'm not trying to say all people with like bigger builds are slower at dancing but it can certainly affect the speed sometimes um especially when you're like made up of just muscle which he is so <laughs> um so yeah it does kind of show in the dancing that he kind of lags behind a little bit in comparison to the other dancers his backup dancers so yeah, that's why I was kind of like commenting on his physique. It could be because of that. I have nothing against his physique, by the way. Just FYI. And lastly, a third critique would be his connection. I felt like he didn't really connect with the dance. It, he was very disconnected, in fact. Um, it just really felt like he was just dancing for the sake of dancing. And the fact that it was just thrown at him. Okay, let's just dance this. Rather than really cradling it he was just displaying it you know what i mean i don't know that's a really bad way to put it but hopefully you get what i mean <laughs> now we are going to move on to tamins okay uh firstly the concept um is devil and he went with the devil within him and i thought that was a very nice twist to the concept um very abstract thinking outside of the box i thought that was really neat um he worked well with his choreographer. I forgot her name, but she is such an incredible dancer. He really deserves a lot of recognition, may I add. Isolations and mirroring effect were really, really good. That was around the 32 second mark to 42 seconds. I liked how they pulled it off, especially because it is adding to the concept of them two kind of being one entity. At 232 to 233, it really showed the concept here because um I think she is displaying devil that's within him right and it really seemed at this moment that she was trying to follow him around and kind of like taunt him um taunt haunt I don't know one of those words um so yeah it's just those little things that add to the overall like story and concept and performance that really impressed me my favorite part 
would be at the 157 mark to 201 ish um there was just like a lot of popping and the bodies conveyed a lot of desperation which i thought really melded well um with the concept again i'm just like really like hitting at the concept they really really did it well um so yeah highlight of the performance i felt was at 120 and 124 that's when the tempo slightly changed in the song um then there was like a lot of resistance in some of the movements um and they made the most of like these brief moments of like what was it like not cliffhangers but more like hilts in music pauses don't know the word but you kind of get what i mean <laughs> critique uh in terms of synchronizing it could have been slightly cleaner um and you might be saying, oh my gosh, like really? And that's like the dumbest thing I've heard all day. But if you do actually analyze the video, there were parts where they they contrasted a bit too much. You could interpret it as they are essentially in, uh, individual beings, yet the same. So that's why their movements are different, but the same. But I don't know, some, some parts kind of came off as a little bit messy, but that's from my point of view. Another point is that his partner throughout the video showed so much emotivity and um, like a lot of frustration in her movements, which was so neat, and her expression showed it. So it really focused on her a lot of the time. Um, again, it's the devil, maybe she's more expressive that way, but I would have loved to see that more in Taemin. Again, I wouldn't know whether that was on purpose or not, but either way, I thought maybe he could, like, if he was fearing the devil within him, or like, you know, just kind of show what his relationship is with her. Another critique would have possibly been the song choice. I know you guys might, like, hit me for saying this. Um, yes, it is his song, and I'm absolutely fine with it being his song. However, I felt like there could have been, um... It could have been remixed more. I don't even know if that song was already remixed. I haven't actually heard the song at all. Um, but it did, it could have changed. I felt like if there was a tempo change, it would have added depth into his performance. Um, but I do kind of feel like 50-50 with it. I mean, it was a good risk he took on. Um, but at the same time, yeah, I do feel like with the movements he did and the choreographer did, it could have suited a different type of music as well, as well as his song though. So yeah. Now we're going to move on to Hoya. Um, off the bat, the exposition scene was very eye-capturing. I loved it. I loved the music that went along with it. The cynicalness in his expression was really neat and it was um, it's very different from Yukon's take on it, which was really interesting. I found it really fascinating even. Um, again, the concept is devil, so I really think he highlighted that. He made the most of the music. He hit every single beat with the well like with a wide range of movements which was nice though he showed a lot of variety in his movements 115 that b-boy move i don't even know what that was that's almost as chippy as 10's movement i was just like whoa what? my favorite part would be from 24 seconds into around 33 seconds um honestly this was like his first appearance in the performance so i think that is so important to say is because when someone can capture, when a main dancer can capture your attention just like that, from the first second they appear, it shows that the whole performance is going to be pretty damn good. Just saying. Um, so with this section, he basically just walks and he has his mask on. So you can't see his face. You can't see any expressions. All you can see is just his body movements. And his body movements embodied this crookedness and this like Joker-esque vibes and I absolutely just loved that. Highlight I would say was 1 minute 32 to around 1 minute 36. It was a section of just tutting and he just ends like yo, like just like that. You know, it was so condensed, it was so sharp and so fast and so precise. I just wanted that to be the highlight of this performance because it was just like mind-blowing for me. A critique would be kind of like a contradiction in a way because I did say his facial expressions 
like his tongue I don't even know did I mention his tongue but he has a lot of tongue movements so he was very like cynical about it and I liked that take on it however I would have liked to see more he's just very similar to Chen in the sense that Chen only showed like a little bit of smiles here and there um and Hoya only showed a little bit of like character here and there. So for example at 41 seconds in, he showed a bit of character. Was really good. Would have loved to see more though. Um, but that's really all I have to say about him. In terms of the results, it turns out Taemin won. Um, obviously I just read the comments and that's how I knew. It was like a 38-34 mark gap between him and Hoya, who was second place. Um, so there was like a lot of debate whether Taemin deserved it over Hoya, etc, etc, and if the gap should have been that big. In all honesty, Taemin did deserve it. Um, again, I did say in the first vlog that I would just appreciate whoever did win, and in this case, yeah, I did think Taemin deserved it because of the amount of intricate movement in his, like, choreography, and how he took the risk of using his own song, and um, again, it was a duet. There wasn't a lot of other backup, I mean, not backup, but a, lo a lot of crew members. So it really did rely on him and his partner. If I compare that with Bora and her partner, um, Taemin just had a lot more to offer. It's like a lot of the conventions they use, dance conventions they use, like the pauses, the moments of pauses, the resistance, the like, you know, just. A lot of emotions were expressed through their bodies. Um, even though, yeah, I did critique Taemin on his facial expressions. Um, overall, I do think it was a very well done performance. I really do. It's very contemporary as well. So there's like a fusion with the dance, which I appreciated. Lastly, who was the better Joker, Yukon or Hoya? To be honest, I expected this of both of them. I was like, I called it. I knew Yukon would be more theatrical and I knew Hoya would be like more dance. And in my head I was like, okay, how is Hoya gonna actually be more smiley and stuff? Like I didn't see that of him and here we have it. I see the performance and he didn't really show it. However, the dance portion generally was done better by Hoya and the theatrical like side of the performance was definitely done better by Yukon, so I feel like they balance each other out, right? So one makes it up for the theatrical, one makes it up for the dance. So, who's better? You can't say. That's how I can't say anyway. If they had equal amounts of theatricalness and dance, then I would be able to compare them properly um, as to who did better. Um, but yeah, it really comes down to personal preference. I loved both of them. I think both of them were great. Um, if I was going to be completely honest, I love Yu Kwan's performance overall better than Hoya's. Um, however, Hoya's dance I liked better than Yu Kwan's. So if we just looked solely just at dance, Hoya would win hands down, hands down. Um, he did such an excellent job. However, just overall performance wise, um, what was more memorable, etc, etc, it was Yu Kwan's. That's all I have to say. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this vlog. It's another very long one. Um, but yeah, make sure you look at my Facebook pinned post for what I'm actually doing on YouTube instead of keeping, like, if you keep requesting songs and I don't reply, it's probably because I'm trying to tell you, look at what I've done on Facebook, because then you don't have to waste a breath on me, uh, requesting things. So yeah, see you later guys until my next dance slash vlog.